You know what should be the punishment for the New York Yankees this season? This pathetic season, by the way? Cleaning dirty, filthy turtle tanks. That should be their punishment. As you guys can see, I barely upload videos on here. Not like I used to. By the way, shout out to guys like uh, Derek at NY Recaps. I mean, <laughs> this guy does a phenomenal job um, talking about the Yankees, even though the Yankees suck. And the reason why I don't upload at the speeds I upload anymore because I know this team wasn't that good. Or, let's put it like this, this organization doesn't listen to the fans. And they have a whole bunch of shills like some of the guys at the Yes Network. Uh, Ryan Ruku, for, for an example, had a horrible take last night. He said that um, Aaron Boone and Holmes, they saved the Yankee season last night. By then, uh, Nathan Navaldi was cruising. Um, Garrett Cole imploded. Did you guys notice that um, right after the spider attack thing, Garrett Cole's whole demeanor changed? This guy was a complete goofball when sitting on the bench when, when he had days off. He reminds me of that uh, movie, Bill and Ted's uh, Wild Adventure, something like that. This guy looked uh, stoned out of his mind. It's like, where did this doofy, goofy version of Garrett Cole come from and in my opinion this guy was going through a midlife crisis I don't want to get the Yankees fans uh, scared out there but um hmm, I think the Yankees uh, signed a cheater to a big contract because this guy is nowhere to be found when it comes to big games so with that being said I don't want to see the Yankees pamper this guy no more I don't want to see the Yankees make trades for his friends over there in Pittsburgh I don't want to see this guy have say when it comes to the Yankees obtaining players because he said, oh, those are my best friends and I want to feel comfortable over here in New York. I'm not saying the Tyon trades and Holmes trades were, were horrible. I'm just saying this dude, it's obvious why they got those players because Garrett Cole said, oh, Brian Cashman, I am the man. You're paying me the most. I, I have say. But yeah, that's going out the window. This guy doesn't show up when it counts. Even though uh, Trevor Bauer is a pervert, I think he was right when it comes to Gary Cole. Ever since that uh, spider attack thing was banned, uh, sticky substances, this guy Gary Cole has reverted to, or even worse, than the Gary Cole we saw in Pittsburgh. I'm not saying he doesn't throw up good numbers, but the Yankees got him specifically to be their ace and to show up when big games are played. So again, it's going to be the same BS this offseason. They're going to keep Cashman. They're going to extend uh, Boone. They're going to play uh, Aaron Hicks in, in center field. It's, it's a never-changing, stupid philosophy that the Yankees are running on. We all know they need to fire Boone. We all know they need to get rid of Marcus Thames. Phil Nevin needs to be ran out of New York after what he did last night, killing the momentum. You guys need a clean house. And you got poor Theo Epstein out there looking for a job. If Hal had any nuts, Cashman will be gone and you'll be ringing up Theo Epstein. We already know the excuse. They're going to say we're going to have a better season next year with Cole and Seve going back to back. We already know. And again, I'm going to say this, all the content creators online, uh, like I said, that uh, NYY Recaps guy, he puts in the most work out of anybody. And I'm not trying to take anything away from my guys either. Uh, Pete puts in a lot of work as well, and uh, Francis, Joe, etc. for NYY News. But this guy specifically, NYY Recaps, <laughs> this guy was making a whole bunch of videos, and the Yankees had nothing to show for it. They were a pathetic team. They don't listen to the fan base. And that should show you guys that you shouldn't be supporting guys on TV. For an example, the Yes Network. Support guys like that Derek guy. Because he's putting in work. He doesn't have to get on and talk about the Yankees. He's getting on because he's passionate about his team. That guy makes videos every day. <laughs> like, like the Energizer Bunny. This is why I don't make videos that much on my channel, because I know the philosophy of the New York Yankees. This team is running on the same BS that they have been running on for years now. We all know as fans what the Yankees need to do. They never do it. So it's like, hmm, sh should I get on and talk about these bums? 
Should I waste my time because a bald, uh, bald parakeet looking dude, uh, Brian Cashman, is running the Yankees to the ground? I told uh, Pete yesterday, I said, yo, ever since uh, people started uh, putting uh, turtle emojis onto the Twitter handles, I knew the season was gone. Because that's a telltale sign of a fan base that does whatever it's told to do. And I'm not, I'm not trying to diss people that did it, but I'm just saying that's sheep mentality. That's like Samuel L. Jackson in that scene in Hateful Eight pulling out his Black Johnson and telling, he's Brian Cashman, right? And telling the fans to suck on his big Black Johnson. Quote, unquote. Exact line from the movie, so don't get mad at me. Perfect uh, analogy, though. This is what Cashman and Hal have been doing to the fan base. So, let's not be delusional. We knew this team wasn't the team that reached the World Series or even go far into the playoffs. We all knew it. We were put out of our misery yesterday. It's like, look at these pathetic fans living uh, under Stockholm Syndrome because of Hal and Cashman. Put them out their misery. You're going to see all the shows out there. I'm already seeing it. Defending Boone. Defending the front office. Do not let up. We can't take this any longer. These are the New York Yankees. And we have a whole bunch of sissies running this organization. Don't let up. Let your voices be heard. Stop supporting these shows on TV. Let them listen to the fans for once. And again, uh... Talking about Ryan Ruckel, he's saying that he really can't bash Phil Nevin because he's a nice guy. <laughs> These guys go out and party all night, it seems. This is pathetic. What are they doing? Going to Hell's Kitchen? Looking for a one-legged prostitutes? This is a joke. Yankees fans, come together, assemble. Let's fix this team. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. We're going to have, listen, we're going to have a crazy 2022 January. You're not even going to recognize NYNews.com. We're going big league. If you're new to the channel, share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.